Hello, Glamazons. It's me, and this is going to be my costume jewelry, fashion jewelry, ring collection part two. Um, I have a very big ring collection. I'm going to try to speed through this quickly. There's probably going to be a part three and or part four. I have been buying rings for a long time, so please be considerate. I've been buying jewelry for over ten years, real and fake. Um, I'm not going to show my real jewelry, but anyway, on with the costume jewelry. I don't know where a lot of this stuff came from. I don't remember, but again, I'm going to try to speed through it because there's a lot. So here we go. Here's the first box. Um, when I like something, I buy duplicates. This is a set. I know this set came off of eBay with this rhinestone here and this band ring here. Most of these are adjustable. It's a turtle there, and that ring there. Most were purchased locally. This is a cameo ring. So that's the first box. This is the second box. These are spiders. And it's funny because a lot of rings have broken over the years. These are alligators. Some owls there. I keep my ring in the ring boxes. Usually when I buy rings here locally in Brooklyn, I'll just ask them for the box. And they're usually more than welcome to give me the box because they usually just throw the boxes in the garbage. So I just keep them in the boxes. I remember this one came from Charlotte Roos, believe it or not. Most of these have not even been worn. There's still tags on them, even though they're years old. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I try to keep them organized in, like, similar styles. That way, I know what I'm going to in each box. And this is the same ring. if They're just not facing the same direction. Um, I like these rings. I think they're fun for when I'm going out or, you know, just casually. When I don't need fine jewelry. Hopefully you all can see that they're just similar styles. In the same box. Some of these are not lying properly. but I do wear these. So, I know someone's going to ask. This one spins. <laughs> I had it in red, but it broke. Okay, these are all the same ring right here. It would have been too much to try to show you guys these rings one by one, so... I decided I'm just going to do an updated ring collection video like this. Especially now with the iPhone, it's just easier to uh, see this one has some cool detail on the side. Most of these rings were only a dollar. Um, yeah, most of them were only a dollar. Next box. <laughs> Most of these are adjustable too, so yeah. This is for all of you girls and guys who want to see my jewelry collection. It's about time I did some updated jewelry collection videos anyway. So yeah, the rings actually look like this. They were upside down. They have a flower built in. I just think they're gorgeous when I'm going out. I like this kind of jewelry because if I go to like a bar or out with the girls or like someplace casual like Olive Garden, I don't have to worry about losing my jewelry if I'm traveling. You know, it's just no big deal if it breaks or something happens to it. Plenty of times I've worn rings like this to the supermarket and they've broken on me and it's just like, oh well. <laughs> or sometimes rings like this are just dressier and they're they're just more fun. Because real jewelry tends to be a little bit more dainty. Like, I don't have any diamond rings that look like this. You know what I mean? 
<clears throat> and you see these are upside down. These are heart rings. Pretty hearts. I love AB crystals. These are spiders. It's a turtle. These are crosses. They're just fabulous. And I try to buy rings that don't look like they cost a dollar. You know what I mean? Whether you're spending a dollar or you're spending $10,000, you want to make sure you get quality as best as you can. A lot of these still have tags on them, so some of these I have not worn. I love that one. I've worn that one all the time. These are butterflies. So yes, this is an updated HD ring collection video. That's a heart and like a cinnamon diamond color. It's just fun, you know? I just think the jewelry like this is fun. Move on to the next box. These are really old right here. I think I got these when I was in like junior high. These two. Maybe even high school. I remember these were bought in English Town, New Jersey. This one's pretty. Some of these are just real old. <laughs> like, look at that. In fact, I think a stone just fell out of it. I don't know. But it's old. This one came off of eBay, the skull here. Then I wore this one around Christmas. Then I have that same other ring, these two. I have it in four colors. They're just pretty. Simple. These can be dressed up or dressed down. This is the type of stuff I wear to work, you know, when taking the bus or the train. I don't want to wear my diamonds or topaz or sapphire rings. I reach for stuff like that. They usually look really nice with an outfit. I mean, I wouldn't wear these out to a really expensive dinner or something like that, but pretty hearts. Again, in four colors. You know, it was so easy to buy this stuff when it was great quality and it was only a dollar, you know what I mean? Most of it, anyway. That, I remember, was bought in New Jersey. And my hair is still in this one. This one came from Jewelry Guy. This one's glass. It's like a completely glass ring. I've shown this one in one of my confessions of a jewelry hoarder videos. I'm gonna have fun putting all this jewelry back. And it's not even half of it. This is not even half of it, girls, honestly. And I even gave away some rings recently um, to, you know, people that I know. I just cleared out my collection. So I actually got rid of <laughs> a lot of rings. This was given to me. It was handmade, and I have two of them. Never worn them, they were given to me. It's a lion. This one was purchased off of eBay. This one I have in two colors, but I'm actually going to wear it tomorrow. So I have the other color on my dresser because I'm going to wear it. But it's just like this, but the stones are gray. So, yeah. I think this one came off of eBay as well. Then this pretty ring here. This one's gorgeous. I don't remember where that one came from. I think this one came from Jewelry Guy. This one was given to me. That one may have come from Jewelry Guy as well. This one's not adjustable. It's just a big dome ring. Four more boxes for this video. And then I have, let me see, three, six, nine. I have like 13 other boxes to show you guys. <laughs> so... Okay, next box. <laughs> this one I had before Twilight came out. Sometimes they give you the boxes and the boxes are dirty, but whatever. Um, this one I actually, this looks like Bella's ring from Twilight, but I had it before Twilight came out, so. Oh no, this one broke. I have to glue it back. I didn't even realize it broke. But you see, it's okay when they're only a dollar, so I'll just glue that one back on. Some starfish rings. Cougar, Blue Gem, Pearl. Most of my pearl rings are separate. This one came from eBay. It's supposed to be a little juicy couture bear. Um, this one here. This one in like a rose gold color. 
And then this one here. I have to remember to glue this one back, so I'm just going to sit that aside. <clears throat> Three more boxes. <laughs> okay, so this beautiful heavy, heavy ring. Another spider ring. Owls. As you can see, I buy multiples, so... I love these rings because they look more real. Like, they look like solid silver or platinum. This one's too big for me. I don't even know why I bought it. This one I like to wear because you can't really tell that it's fake. It just looks like an intricate ring. So I like to wear that one. This one I have a necklace to match. This one more birds, which half of these I have not even worn. And last but not least, these are my more expensive rings. All of these rings are expensive. That's why they're in these type of boxes. So I'm just going to go through these rings. These were expensive. They were either custom made or they were bought from a shopping network. <laughs> these were not the cheap rings. None of these are adjustable. So, a couple of rings that I bought when I was on the cruise ship are in here. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy part two. There's either, either I'm going to cram all the rest of it into part three, or there's going to be a part three and four. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed my updated ring collection. Stay tuned. Bye.